Okay, uh, there's my Ord bot. It still works. I've just moved everything down. Everything's a mess right now, making room for the new printer. Uh, this is a dual extruder, Airwolf 3D, uh, HD2X. I believe on the website it's HDX2. But the, the big thing with this one is it's dual extruder, high temp. Uh, it'll do nylon, polycarbonate, and all that. It'll also do all the other materials. Uh, if you look on the sides, it has you know, a place to hold the spools. It runs on 3 millimeter filament. Uh, on this one, it's an it's a 8 by 12 bed. It's got nice little LEDs on the sides. You can turn them off and on. Uh, X and Y, as you see, is on the extruder, and it moves. The Z actually moves up and down here, so you have a full, uh, basically 12 inches of uh, Z so you have a 12 by 8 by 12 print area now with the dual extruder you do lose one inch which makes it 11 by 8 by 12 just just so you can get both extruders on the bed uh, there's actually a way to do it if you need the extra inch you would have to split the print print part of it with one extruder and the other part with the other it can be done uh, I'm printing uh, spool holders the ones that come with it of course are for the bigger hole in the center and then for the, like the nylon and the smaller spools I'm printing these spool holders and as you can see I mean the printer prints and this is default speeds the printer prints quick on default speeds and it's really neat and when I say neat I mean there's not a lot of stringing and garbage everywhere um, which is really in my opinion nice <laughs> uh, this is based on riprap as if most of the others are uh, on the HD uh, series the gears for the extruders they're in nylon this is in nylon of course because it's higher temps it is a Bowden system which means the head can move quicker because there's not a, all the extra weight for the extruders is off of it so you don't have all the inertia from the movement I have printed at speeds double what you're seeing and got great prints off of this printer. I've been printing with it now for five days. I have no complaints at all. Um, this is an 8x8. It still works. I'm going to use it. I needed something a little bigger. This was $4,000, okay? Everybody that looks at them probably thinks, man, do I really need... Okay, most people don't need dual extruders. I've printed stuff with this one that I had to use supports on this one did not need no support at all I can I can do no support on this one for a lot of stuff but you have to tweak the settings when you buy this printer they give you the settings for all the different types of material and if you just use their settings it works right out of the box I mean you pay more money but you truly get a plug-and-play system that just works and to me that's worth a lot especially if you're not tech savvy uh, you know I, I use kiss slicer and I customized my own uh, slicing configs and I had this printing just as well as this but it took me a lot of time to make those configs this I plugged it in I imported the configs straight into matter control and I was off and printing they do give you configs for slicer and for cura also uh, it has the LCD down here. It has a micro SD, so you can print right off the SD if you want to. You can you can fully control this without having the USB plugged in. What else can I tell you about this printer? I mean, in a five-day print time, and I mean five days of printing stuff. You know, there's a there's a working bear track right there that I printed with this printer. You know, in five days of printing with this printer, I have not had one failed print. And I have printed and printed and printed. As a matter of fact, there's a new uh, J-head holder from my uh, Ordbot there. And I did use a little support on this because it was printed upside down like this. And it was double stacked. I probably didn't have to, but I've done it just to be safe. And the, and the support peeled right off, whereas with this one, sometimes before I did all the tweaking, I had issues. So again, 
you know, you pay extra, but you get a lot more for it. You get a truly plug-and-play printer, 100%. Uh, it came with two spools of filament. Right now they're having a spring sale. So you get an extra couple of spools. I got them over there. I got an extra nozzle. I'm going to actually put a, uh, a .35 on one and leave the other one at .5. I'll do my infill with the .5 and I'll do my print with the .35. That way you get a really fine print if you want to and a faster infill time. Or you can just print with the .5 if you don't need it to look really, really nice. But even at .5, I mean this was printed at .5 and I mean honestly, at point five, <clears throat> it looks it looks as good if not better than what I've turned out off that old bot when I was customizing it before I got done with it. So it's all in the settings. It really is. But you know, there's a there's a castle idea with the DNA strand in it. I mean it, it's all about what you're going to do. You know, you can get a cheaper printer. They have cheaper ones. Uh, if you go to their uh, special section, right now it's just a sale, but a lot of times they'll have uh, printers they've had in use for a while and they'll sell them at a discount. Or, you know, you can just get like their Airwolf XL, which is the 8x12x12, by 12 by 12, but it's on a riprap platform kind of similar to the Ordbot, but it's, uh, it uses the acrylics on the sides, like this is acrylic instead of the uh, aluminum extrusions so and it's single extruder but still you get their quality you know you get their settings and you're not fighting with it I think a lot more people would get one if they didn't have the issues some other people have had and I mean this thing like I said it, it's it's dead on you don't have no problems I mean I just took it out of the box Follow the directions to, to, you know, remove all the, the tie wraps and everything, the zip ties that was holding everything in place. And I started printing. Um, well, I just wanted to give you a, a quick heads up. Sorry about the noise from the printer. If you're looking for a good high quality filament printer, for now, I'm going to tell you Airwolf is probably the way to go. You know, I, I've looked at others, and there are some other high-quality printers out there, construction-wise. But you don't get the settings. You don't get, you know, you don't get somebody that's been in the business for a few years, and they've already tweaked everything out for you. And I can tell you now, the Wolf's, you know, he, he started out just doing his own, and then he's grown it into a great company. I'm really impressed with what he's done. So, thank you, and have a nice day.